All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Diablo 4. We finally hit level 50. It took us probably like 25, 30 hours through the weekend with early access. Been having fun. I've been trying to like not watch any videos on YouTube, like see what kind of builds are going on, kind of do my own thing. I, I know people were like crapping on the rogues arrows and like saying daggers and twisting blades this and twisting blades that. I don't know. I feel like I got a, a pretty, pretty good build. It's, it's pretty damn solid. Uh, at least got probably level 30 to been using it since like around 30 30 to 50 but look regardless um one of my main things is the uh this arrow storm <clears throat> which uh there's a dungeon you can do you get it from uh howling warren in skoskalin i don't remember where the hell that was skoskalin uh but basically your marksman skills have up to a 10 percent chance to create an arrow storm at the enemy's location and for whatever reason, I don't know why, when I actually put it on my weapon, uh, it gave me like 2,300, I think it was. So look, now we have Ricochet on our barrage, okay? The abilities we have are Shadow Imbuement, which I feel like a lot, not enough people are using that because it's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Makes, makes them vulnerable and it does explosions and it's good. Uh, I have dash, death trap, which is our bread and butter, poison trap, puncture, and barrage. Now with barrage here, I have ricochet. So basically when you strike a vulnerable enemy, your ricochet is 100%. So once we get them vulnerable with the shadow imbuement, it starts spraying arrows everywhere. And then all those arrows have a chance to trigger the arrow storm and then arrows start raining down and you can have up to five active at a time. I know it's only 10%, but it, it, it procs more than you think it would. So I'll have these, that's 10, 000, over 10,000 damage raining down from the skies. It is wild. And when those arrows ricochet, so you got like an archer off in the distance or like a maid shooting you and like you're, you got a mob in center and they're like off. Those arrows will ricochet and hit them, and then they'll start getting an arrow storm on them, and then you'll kill them. You don't have to be over there. Like it's, it's pretty wild. But anyway, we got barrage here. Let's start with puncture. We got puncture with enhanced puncture and fundamental puncture. I've got barrage with enhanced barrage and improved barrage, and this also makes them vulnerable. So every third cast makes them vulnerable for two seconds. It's just it's, this build's so good. I've got weapon mastery rank three. I've got dash with enhanced dash and discipline dash. I've got the poison trap with enhanced poison and the subverting poison trap. Now, once I get some more points, I'll be doing like deadly venom, some of this stuff, maybe this one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I do have shadow imbuement, enhanced shadow imbuement, blended shadow imbuement. And then I, I just put one into this because obviously points are, you know, not a thing. God, this light's too bright. And then I have three in consuming shadows here. So every each time you kill an enemy with shadow damage, you generate 30 energy. So you hit everybody with the shadow damage in the mob and then they start dying. You're just pretty much getting unlimited energy. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty damn good. I have death trap obviously with the freaking oh it's a 50 second cooldown i thought it was 40 50 seconds uh prime death and then supreme death which you know you got to try to get that cooldown down the aftermath so once you use it three-fourths the energy right back i've got one in the adrenaline rush so i could get three in the haste here because movement speed and 15 percent increased attack speed is pretty damn good and then last but not least exposure because Reduce the active cooldowns of your trap skills by 20%. You kind of need that because uh, Poison Trap and our ultimate here, Death Trap, would kind of want procking and, and re recirculating as, as soon as possible. And, and those are some big cooldowns. <clears throat> so, yeah, with all of that, pretty much, it's, it's pretty sick here. Now, like I said, I do have the Arrow Storm here. I have... I don't think I have anything real crazy. I do have this. So when I activate the imbuement, I also 
explode with the shadow from my my body when I activate it doing damage so that's good I also have three uh, four diamonds uh, this is the biggest gem I can make right now uh, I can't upgrade anymore uh, I have 40 plus 44 percent ultimate skill damage so that makes a big difference with our death trap um, I have I, I mean none of these it's kind of you get what you get at this point in the game um, I do have like where I drop a smoke grenade at the end of my dash I do have dash now stunning enemies you know it's a whole thing I don't think I have anything like real crazy this helps a lot uh, damaging elite enemy grant you a barrier um, you just it seems like you're invincible for a good amount of time so with all that yeah it's it's a pretty solid build so let's uh let's go wreck some monsters to show you guys exactly what's going on with it can we get like some decent mobs going here all right here we go just crack everything just d completely annihilates everything man I mean, it's pretty good, you know? I mean, obviously it could be tweaked, but I mean, it makes quick work of anything, honestly. I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, boys, you know to subscribe, come back. I guess we're starting Diablo 4 content. We did Zelda, we did all kind of other stuff, you know? And I'll see you on the next one.